Hello and welcome, Jelly Cube. I'm doing a um, my art today on this lovely pine round. So I'm going to um, when the piece is finished and dried, I will resin over it and make it into a little side table. So I did prepare the back of it with um, just a coat of varnish. It, that gives it, it helps it stop warping but I found with these pine rounds if they do warp as long as I let them dry on a really flat surface and then when they're fully dry if it's still a little bit warpy which it never usually is I just stick something heavy on it and it it flattens out very easily so that's how I've prepared this particular piece of pine so um Today I'm going to hopefully do something that looks like a, that it will make the tabletop look like stone. So I did a previous pour, um, flip cup pour, and it came out looking like a stone effect. So I thought, what what better to do it on a, a tabletop? So it, uh, when it's resined, it looks like um, granite. So here we go. I have mixed up some sort of creamy colour there. I think I might need to add a little bit, maybe just of water in that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water because it just seems a little bit thick to start with. Um, we'll see how we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do maybe maybe two flip cups for this size table so i'm flipping cups and we'll um we'll see how we go as we go along i'll work it out i'm not sure exactly what colors i'm putting into these just yet but i've got that creamy color and then i've got 50 percent silver a metallic silver 50 percent gold so i'm gonna throw all that in that's getting a bit old and goopy but I'm pretty sure I can use it if I just uh, fish out the chunky bits I'll fish out the chunky bits after so I'm going to give it a good squirt of white a real good squirt of white this is what I did on the last one and I got really good results so trying to follow what I did before so I get the same results but you know how hard that can be sometimes I'm going to put in some metallic gold. I'm not actually sort of trying to layer it, I'm trying to let it mix. So this is going to be a neutral kind of top, very unusual for me. I might end up doing one strip of some colour through it. Maybe, maybe not. So that's metallic gold. Uh, hit your nose. Now back to my creamy colour it's kind of like a yeah it was just a cream it's not white it's cream so there we go easy easy Japanese and now I'm not sure about this but I've got well maybe I should add it afterwards I'd got um, burnt umber with a dash of black so I'm just putting a tiny bit of this in. I'm gonna get the sort of real neutral stony look, hopefully. You kind of really have to think about it as you're going along, but oh, hope that's not too much. Now I'm gonna squirt my white in again. Hmm, no. Hopefully those two cups are going to do it. So I'm not worried about it going over the edges because I actually want this to go over the edges, this particular one. So, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing this result on this one, seeing if it anything like I um, have in my mind's eye. Come on, just, just putting a bit of paint on there. Just so this other paint that I've put in those cups just slides over the whole lot and I don't have to um, tilt it too much if I get a really nice effect. 
So remember, just take your time. No hurry. We often get carried away and things and think thing everything has to be done in a hurry, but it doesn't. Especially this, because it's your basically art therapy. Just do it nice and slow. So just giving it really a coat for the other colours to slide over nicely. I did on a previous piece of pine that I did, um, I put a, just a var um, varnish on both sides of the piece just to, uh, and then let that dry just to uh, hopefully, you know, try and stop the pine from warping. But it was, it didn't make any difference than the previous one I did without any prep. As long as you leave it to dry really on a flat surface, it turns out quite well. So I'm just whizzing around with my fingers to make sure that's coated. And let's see what we get. Radio. I might, oh, flipping floppers, flipping floppers. So they're basically a flip cut pour, so got a lot more um, gold in this. Let's see. I'll just flip and lip and lip. Same with this one. Flip and lip and lip. Oh, let's catch hold of this now. It's strange for me to be doing very bland neutral colours, <laughs> but you know, you have to try everything, I guess. And I just think it would work out really nicely for a tabletop. I'm just gently tilting so I get those lovely colours really everywhere over my pine top. So just taking it right over the edges because I've got plenty enough paint to do that with. I didn't really want to lose that gold at the top but never mind. Wow, wow, wow. very very soft and neutral looking definitely unlike me but very very nice and i know lots of people like this kind of thing bring a bit more of that burnt umber into it from the top there so just tilting the other way I don't want to leave too much paint on the top. But I think that's going to work out beautifully. Wow. I mean, I've got some cells there which I didn't really want, but I mean, that still looks beautiful as it is. That's very neutral. So I'm not sure whether I should swipe a bit of burnt umber through that. Um, I could try just to add a little bit of more of the burnt umber because that's what I would like in there. I'll just get a little, just a little soft plastic piece of plastic and I'm literally going to dip this in the burnt umber because I'm not after um, cells or anything and I just want to add a bit of the burnt umber in there again. Wow, that's nice. It is nice. That's beautiful. Very happy with that. Happy Jen. Let me just trace some of the burnt umber through this way. No. Do you know what? I know that you're probably not used to hearing this, but I'm going to leave that exactly as it is because it is really looking like stone. Um, and I'm loving it. And I think when this has had a nice coat of resin, it is going to be a new beaut super duper tabletop. Rightio, I'm going to just give it a whiz with my heat one. 
Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to bring you down to have a look at some of the detail in this because it's very nice for a plain one. Very nice. Just look at the lovely effect in there. I mean, it really does look like, oh, look at the lights. Not showing the true colour. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, it looks like a piece of stone in areas. It really does. That was the swipe. I sort of went back over it. Kind of regretting doing such a thick swipe, but it actually, look, the whole piece, it's actually looking really lovely. So the praying God, uh, praying gods, the drying gods be with me. And I think I'll actually resin this one before I put the video up. So it's obviously going to take a few days to dry. I think so. If I don't get time to resin, um, I'll put the video up and show you at a later date the resin. Probably on my Facebook page, but there you go. So if you're trying to create a stone tabletop look for a side table or even a little kitchen table or a bench top, then that's a very easy way of creating the stone look. So hope you enjoyed that something different for me because you know I love color and my balloon so I was very restrained almost with my hands tied behind my back okay I'm done for the day thank you so much for joining me please join me again tomorrow bye for now